Hi guys, Trace here. This video isn't up as early as I wanted it to be, because I normally record it the night before. But I went to go see Godsmack and Shinedown at the Amphitheater last night, and it was great. Came home, crashed, it was like 2 in the morning. Great concert, though. Sucks if you missed it. In the last episode, we, well, we were investigating some girl whose head got chopped off. Don't know her name, don't know anything about her. That's what we're going to find out on this episode. So let's jump right in. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell well, me relax. you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. I'm just gonna go quiet because I don't know who did it. Bluebeard came to mind. It's his MO. It's shaky, but. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such Exactly, a that's why I didn't want to. With nice job, Snow. Off of his ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Just go quiet again. Don't be rude. He's already pissed off. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Prane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Oh. I, I hate all these choices. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Oh dude, he's so cool. He's like from the Wizard of Oz. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Um. Fine. Be nice. Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Dude, he's so he cool. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. 
In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. The mirror? I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Well, before I go to the mirror, I want to look around. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Can I touch it? Oh, cool. Look at that big rhino head. Doesn't want me to go back there either. Rude. Give me one moment. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. Well, that's not what I have here. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. I'll be sure to let him Can know. I keep drawing? Is there any other options? I think all we could do now is go to the mirror. See what that's about. Ooh, that was a weird camera flip. I do apologize for that. Okay, just look at him now. Yep, let's go to the mirror. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm no. about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, I know if I say I don't know her name, well, he's gonna be like, "Well, then I can't help you." Let's go with Buffkin. I like Bufkin. him. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Uh, the woodsman. I want to say he's the guy that we fought with in the first episode. Show me the woods, man. Pretty sure. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can't be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Hmm. I could exit. You know. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well. Until yeah. You do, I know I he's gonna say that. I just wanted to hit it. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Dude, Buffkin, hurry up with that book. There we go. I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. What is this? What does that mean? Does that mean I could break it? I don't want to do that. I want to say that's what it means. I'm not entirely sure. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Is 
This is supposed to be me, isn't it? Hmm. Me. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Hi, buddy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the ring. Yeah, I was just about to Could say be that. her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Wait, wait, I want to keep looking. No, I wasn't done. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I hey, look, it's Toad. Like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Uh, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything up top. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's everything that we could have got from this book. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Oh, is that it? Alright, hold on. I lied. I don't want to look at that yet then. Or was that it? What's it say about that? It says Brickle Bit in an older elvish hand. What's Brickle Bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. Dude, there's so many symbols. This I don't think familiar. it's this one. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. I know you're not. All right, now we'll actually go. To the one. There we go. This is what this we want. Is Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairau. I'll go look it up. Alerlairau. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, <laughs> also known as. <coughs> Ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please.
And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. Well, I want to talk to the mirror first. You think he did it? With this sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. Wait, let me talk to my mirror. Let me do that. Okay, it does give me the option to. Dude, these camera angles aren't... What is that? Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Yeah, let's go there. Well, I want to ask about Faith. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Hey, man. Thank you, Mirror. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. How did I know I was here? It's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he. Oh, well, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. But he sounded like he was in trouble. Whenever you're ready. Now, let's go. Why why wouldn't we go now? Go. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave this one here. Real fast, we're gonna go through a book of fables. Let's see. How many are away? One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, six away. I'm not sure if, like, you can miss one. Who is this? Oh. I didn't think that would be considered an actual person. But okay, whatever. Like, I'm not sure if I could miss this one or any of these. I don't know if it's something like, it's like, you have to see all of them or if you could actually miss them but regardless i'm gonna do these every other day and hopefully on time this time <laughs> time this time all right but thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye